the mindset is just so, so bad across the board, across all these affiliates. Hey guys, how's it going? So today I wanna to make a video about why I think most people are kind of failing with affiliate marketing right now. And you know, I didn't really wanna make this video. This is sort of a, a rough message to get across because um, just the reality of the situation is pretty bad for most people's mindset in the affiliate marketing space. And this is gonna be a pretty tough pill to swallow for a lot of people, but the reality is that most people just don't understand the amount of testing that it takes to actually get a, an ad campaign profitable. So I've been coaching some people one-on-one -on -one now um, you know, for the past handful of months, and I've gotten a really close glimpse into a lot of people's mindsets that have been in the affiliate marketing space that are testing offers. And man, the mindset is just so, so bad across the board, across all these affiliates. I mean, talk about instant gratification. Like people expect that they can find an offer that's proven and just put up like a couple hundred dollars in ad spend and, and try to see it work. I mean, it's just not the reality of the situation. So real affiliates like um, me, my brother, and, and other people that we know are not thinking in terms of hundreds of dollars in testing. They're thinking in terms of thousands of dollars or tens of thousands of dollars in testing to, to really you know, create something that's gonna be super profitable and long lasting, okay? So the issue that people have in this space is basically um, a really instant gratification mindset where you know, they need something to work right away or they're going to, you know, basically quit, right? Or, you know, they need, you know, let's say that, let me, let me tell you why I'm so like frustrated right now. So there was a, <laughs> there was a student who I was coaching one-on-one -on -one, and this guy basically paid, you know, fee to learn from me for an entire day, right? And, you know, I showed this guy, a campaign that was profiting for us, right? And he started testing it and he actually got profitable on it. You know, he, he went through the testing process. He, I don't know how much money he spent, maybe like a thousand dollars testing and he got profitable and he started scaling this ad campaign and then the results went bad for basically two days in a row and he completely walked away from the campaign. I mean, come on, like if that's the mindset that you have in this space, then you just don't deserve to be successful. I'm sorry, like this space is not about instant gratification. It's not about, you know, every day is, is um, you know, peaches and roses. It's about, you know, when things go bad, having the mindset to basically persist and push through and test more and, you know, most people that I know, when they go to test an ad campaign, they'll look, they'll find something that's working for somebody else, and they'll make one landing page, and they'll make maybe five creatives, max, right? And they, they expect to get profitable, okay? But that's not going to happen. Never. That's never going to happen. Maybe one out of a hundred times that's going to be, that's going to work. But the reality of what works as far as flipping campaigns into profit is testing at least four landing pages that are very different in design. Okay. At least 30 ad creatives that are very different, you know, different designs, different ideas. Okay. And that's at a minimum guys. That's at a minimum. So if you're running a campaign and you've only made one landing page and you're, you know, excuse my language, bitching and moaning about not getting profitable yet, you, you have the complete wrong mindset to succeed in this space and you're never going to be successful. Okay. The people that I know that have survived in this space for years, like my brother and I and other people that are friends of ours in the space that we know and we've worked with, they've they've all just tested ridiculous amounts, you know? So when an offer is proven and when you're spending money on testing and you're getting any conversions on an offer, you know, if you've spent, 
if you've spent a couple grand or something and you've you're even anywhere close to breaking even like that's extremely exciting because that means that that's a very good offer that can easily flip into profit like even if i'm running something and i've spent two thousand dollars and i'm still at like a negative 20 percent roi or something like that i'm beyond excited because i know that if i just test some more landing page variations um, or test some more creatives, then I can easily flip that thing into profit. And we've done it so many times over the years, so many times. So the problem is that, you know, there's a lot of people that are just going to completely drop out of the industry right now because they can't find a profitable campaign within $200 of testing. You know, people think that if they find something that's working for us, for somebody else, that they should just expect to see profit right away. You know, even if something's working for something else, you're still going to need to test an insane amount. I mean, you know, we were running campaigns over the years and we knew other people that were running these same, these same campaigns with us like back in our early days, you know, back in like 2015. And, you know, when you're just one person, it's really hard to understand like the scope of an opportunity. But, you know, I would wake up one day and, you know, a campaign that I'd been running and been profitable had basically gone negative. And maybe I was at like a negative 20% ROI. And like in my own head, I'm thinking like, oh man, like I should just quit. I should just go test something else. Like this is obviously like dead now. Um, you know, this isn't going to work anymore clearly. Right. But then I would chat up you know, one of my friends and I would just ask like, yo, what are your numbers for today? And he'd be like, oh, well, I've spent 10,000 and I've made $2,000 in profit on the same offer, on the same campaign, right? And, you know, if I was just in my own head, you know, with my own crappy mindset that you, you always have when you're first getting started, I mean, I, I've, you know, I would have walked away from so many campaigns, but I realize that this is not the mentality that guys have. Like when guys find an offer that's proven, they'll stick with that offer for years, you know? And even if things go negative, they'll just do whatever they need to do in order to flip that into profit. If they need to spend another $10,000 testing some different creatives or landing pages before they see profit again, in order for them to make another hundred or $200,000 in profit, they'll do it, you know? I've seen guys stick with the same offer, the same one single offer for years and just keep testing, keep testing, keep testing, keep testing, keep testing. Yeah, sure, there's some negative days. Sure, there's some negative weeks where you can't seem to flip things into profit. But if you have the mentality that you're never going to give up and you're willing to keep adjusting and keep tweaking every day and keep improving things, that's when you have success, okay? So I know this is a tough pill to swallow right now, and I know that a lot of people are struggling, but people's mindsets are really just shit right now in the space. People think that they're going to get profitable instantly on something. People think that they can only make one landing page and five creatives and expect to see profit. It's not true. You can't even make two landing pages to, and expect to see profit. You can't even make three landing pages and expect to see profit. You need to make four different landing pages at a minimum at a minimum that are completely different in design before you could expect to see profit, right? We need to make 30, we need to test 30 different ad creatives at a minimum before you expect to see profit. Okay, so I know that this is hard. I know that this is really difficult for people to, to wrap your head around, but this is it, guys. I mean, if you want to have success in this space, then you need to follow what I'm telling you because... Yeah, I've had campaigns go down before, but here I am. I'm still here, you know? I started having success in 2015. I can't even tell you how many times, you know, I've had a profitable campaign go into the red or, you know, had a campaign that was really hard to turn into profit that eventually flipped into profit. Can't even tell you how many times, guys. So if you want to have real success, then you need to change your mindset. You need to get out of the instant gratification mentality and start thinking like a real entrepreneur. You know, anyways, guys, um, hope that this message is helpful. I know it's not an easy one to listen to, but I know that, you know, if you take this advice and you can really start to, to actually see good long-term results. Anyways, I'll see you in the next video.